guys, thanks so much for joining me today. We are going to do a 20 minute Hatha yoga flow. Hatha meaning sun and moon, a little bit of hot, a little bit of cold, a nice full body practice that will leave you feeling so much better. I'll meet you on the mat. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Bring your feet parallel, so about hip distance apart, toes forward, soften your knees, tuck your tailbone under and take a big roll up in your shoulders Exhale, let your shoulders drop down, palms face me, mountain pose. The crown of your head is reaching up. Tuck your chin back slightly. Stand a little taller and then close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Don't worry about letting that exhale be heard. It's good for your nervous system. We're gonna blink the eyes open on your next inhale. And then start to fan your arms up. Reach up with an in-breath. Get tall. Exhale, release. Let's do it again. So match your breath. Inhale it up. And then exhale, release. And it's a gentle warm up for your shoulders. Just imagine you're growing a little taller every time you reach up. Beautiful. One more. Inhale it up. Soft knees. Stay up here. We're going to lower the right hand towards your right thigh and then tip towards the side. Go ahead and bump your hips to the left. You can gaze down towards your mat, or you can turn your chin up towards the sky. Come back up to a nice tall number 11. Reset your spine, and then left hand will slide down your left thigh. Stretch up and over with that right arm. You can consider looking up with your gaze, or turning the gaze down as you bump your hips to the right. Come back to center on an inhale. Bring both arms overhead, and then exhale. Cactus your arms, elbows back into the back pockets. Good, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and hinge at your hips. You're gonna reach your hands towards your shins, your ankles, or your feet, maybe even the floor. Let your chin soften into your chest and then shake your head out like you're saying no. Dump your brain out real quick. Come on up for a half lift. Inhale, bring your spine to a nice flat. And then exhale, soften. Good, we're gonna bend both knees, find the mat with your hands, and then step back into your first plank pose. Palms under the shoulders, toes curled under. If this is too much for you, you'll bend your knees and take a modified plank. Keep your finger pads spread wide, push down into the mat, chin slightly tucked. One more breath here, inhale. And then on your exhale, pick your hips up towards the sky, bring your ears between your biceps, and let your heels get nice and heavy downward facing dog. So you want to be an inverted V here. It's, it's upside down. We're going to get blood to your brain, blood to the face. Beautiful. Pull your belly button in. I'm have you roll forward like a wave, landing right back into plank, right back where you started. Bend both knees, let them melt to the floor. Turn your fingertips out a little bit. As you lower, elbows will scrape your ribs, find the mat, belly down. Lengthen your legs, walk them out long, tops the feet down. We're gonna just peel the heart up, baby cobra to start. Inhale it up, and then exhale, soften. Let's move with our breath, so inhale it up. And then exhale, melt down. It's okay if you're not getting this high. It might just be a little mini cobra today, whatever you got, one more. Maybe you're coming all the way up to full cobra if your spine is happy. Exhale to release. Press those hands down as you take your hips towards your heels. Child's pose. Let your forehead melt down. Stretch your fingers up over your head. Beautiful. We're going to take our right arm and just tuck it underneath our left armpit. Let your ear and shoulder find the mat. Melt down. Maybe you can look at your right arm. Beautiful. Unwind that twist and then we'll switch it. Left hand is gonna tuck underneath the right armpit. Let your ear, head, shoulder melt to the mat. Take that gentle twist. Excellent, unwind it here as we shift our weight forward into tabletop position. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Find that nice flat spine. Exhale into cat, so you're gonna round your back, drop your tailbone, drop your chin, and then inhale, melt your belly down, lift your heart, lift your tail. Excellent stretch for your back. Let's do two more. Round it into cat. If you ever have low back pain, do a few gentle cat-cow flows. One more. Match with your breath. So exhale, round. A little bit of spinal flexion. 
and then inhale, melt, spinal extension. Draw everything into a straight line, belly button in. Take your right leg out behind you, float it, toes down, hips square, and then reach your left arm. Find that balance. Just take a small little crunch here, elbow towards your knee, round your back, can you touch them together? And then inhale, straight apart. Good, let's do two more. Exhale, round, warming up your core. Stretch it long, find some tension. One more. Good, extend it, stay up here, either hold the balance or bend your back knee and cast that arm around. See if you can connect with your foot or your ankle and then kick your hand, get a little stretch here for your quad, open up your shoulder. Slowly release what you're holding, try not to slingshot it. Lower the knee, wag your tail for a second, switch sides. Black leg, send it out, strong and straight. Hip square, stretch your right arm out. Find your balance. It helps if you look down at the floor. On your next exhale, draw elbow towards knee. Take that rounded spine like a cat. And then inhale long. Two more. So we're waking up the core. Finding traction in your spine. Last one. Move nice and slow and steady. You have an option to just stay right here. Feel free. Or you can bend your back knee and cast your arm around maybe connecting with the foot or ankle. Kick the hand if you did find some connection. If not, that's okay, just reach for it. We're finding our balance either way. Slowly release what you're holding. Take the hand under the shoulder, knee under the hip, wag your tail. Curl your toes under, pick your knees up and lift your hips to the sky, downward dog, head between your arms. Stretch your hamstrings, let your heels get heavy and if it feels good, Go ahead and pedal, alternating one foot at a time. It's okay if they don't get straight. Try to make your shape as much like a triangle as possible. Bring your big toes close, and then you're gonna reach your right leg into the sky. So stretch the right leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands. So big step to the front of a mat. Come into low lunge, lighten on your fingers, and lift your heart. So you're gonna get some stretch here for your back hip. Strong legs are going to rise you on up, so let go with your hands and reach up into crescent lunge. Front knee over front ankle, arms overhead, opening up through that back hip flexor. One more breath. We're going to take a balance pose next, so open your arms into a T. Look at the floor in front of your front foot. Start to step onto that front foot and lift your back leg. Come into warrior three. Now, if this is too much for you, your toe can always be down, right? You can bring your hands back by your hips. For those of you who want to try the challenge, reach your arms overhead, chin slightly tucked. Start to bend your front knee, set it back down into our crescent. Arms overhead, exhale, fold. Hands will find the floor on either side of that front foot. Start to put weight onto the hands as you step back to plank. So you can skip this part if you like, just do child's pose. Or you can join me shifting your weight forward and lowering like a tricep push-up, chaturanga, either a baby cobra, mid cobra, maybe full cobra. Some of you might be ready for up dog, which is tops of the feet and hands only. Start to lower your heart back down, pressing the heels of your hands, come up and through a child's pose. If you're in child's pose, join us, curl your toes under, Lift your knees up high, tail to the sky, downward dog. Relax your face, relax your head. You can shake your head no or nod your head yes. Big toes come close. And then we're gonna stretch left leg into the sky. This is three-legged dog. Get a nice opening in the hip here and then scoop your knee forward like you're gonna kiss it. Step between your hands. Soft landing if you can. If it doesn't get there with one step, go ahead and drag it with your hands. Start to lighten on your fingers and lift your heart. Good, with strong legs, root through both legs and rise up, crescent lunge on your other leg now. So crescent lunge is a balance pose already, but if you wanna make it harder, we're gonna add that next balance challenge. So take those arms out to a T, look at the floor in front of your front leg and start to take weight off of your back leg as you step onto your front leg, coming into a parallel spine. Can you create that long line? Now options here, toe can stay down, arms can reach back. 
or you can make it harder, reach the arms overhead and lengthen that leg a little bit higher. Start to bend your standing knee and then step your back foot lightly to the mat. Stick the landing, crescent lunge, we've been here before. Exhale to fold, hands will find the floor on either side of your front foot. Prepare to put weight on those hands as you step back into your plank pose. So take it or leave it. If you wanna go straight to child's pose, you can. Otherwise, chaturanga with me, shift forward. Elbows scrape the ribs, baby cobra or full cobra. Maybe up dog, if it feels good. Consider this harder transition. Roll through your feet and just pick your hips all the way up. So we didn't lower back down. And if that does not feel good, don't worry about it. Heels are heavy, relax the face. Take those big toes close once more. Reach your right leg up into the sky, three-legged dog. Draw that right knee through and step the foot between your hands like we did before. This time, spin your back heel down. So you're coming into warrior one. Heel to heel alignment. Push your both legs, rise up. So warrior one, you're gonna be really tempted to turn sideways. Try to face the front of your mat here. Excellent, release your fingers behind your back and interlace. So to make a nice tight fist here between both hands and drop the knuckles, open the heart, expand. And then join me for humble warrior. So you're gonna bow, bring your heart to the inside of your thigh, let your head drop and expose the back of your neck. If it's okay, let the arms fall up and over. Release those fingers to the floor and grab the mat on either side of your front foot. Swivel onto the ball of your back foot. And you're gonna step back to a side plank here. So open up the arm to the side and plant yourself, palm to the blade of your foot. Option here, bottom knee can bend. Stack everything straight and strong. Go ahead and lower top arm to the floor and we'll take chaturanga optional. If it doesn't feel right, take a child's pose. Either way, we'll all meet in down dog together. So your option to just roll through your feet and lift your hips, or some of you might lower down and press back. Let's meet in down dog. Make those adjustments, whatever you need. Heels are heavy. Reach your left leg into the sky, three-legged dog. Stretch it up, stretch it up. Draw your knee through and then lightly step your foot between your hands. We're gonna swivel the back heel down, heel to heel alignment for warrior one. Push down and rise up. Face the front of your mat. Even though your back hip is trying to pull you sideways, turn to the front here. Good, get that stretch. Release fingers behind your back. Interlace, this time take the awkward interlace. Whichever finger doesn't wanna be on top, take that one. Knuckles towards the floor as you open your heart, chest expansion, and then fold to the inside of your front thigh. Let your head bow, humble warrior. And then maybe your arms follow. Release those hands to the ground on either side of your front foot as you pick up your back heel. Planting your opposite hand, so right hand, step into your side plank on the other side. Reach that left arm into the sky. Option here is to bend your bottom knee and modify your side plank. Really squeeze the mat with your bottom hand so that you can take pressure off your wrist. This top arm is gonna come up and over, creating a nice long transition to your plank. So we're working that core. Right here, optional if you like it, take your chaturanga. Otherwise, you can just find child's pose. We'll meet in down dog together. So whenever you're ready, either going through a child's pose or rolling through your feet, pick those hips up, tuck those toes under, relax your head. One hand at a time, walk towards your feet into forward fold, the back of the mat. Keep your knees soft, relax your face. Rise up, halfway lift, fingers to shins or thighs. Exhale, soften. Root through your legs and rise up tall. Bring both hands together at the top and pull them to heart center. Mountain pose, Tadasana, we've been here before. Inhale, reach it up, get long and tall. Slide your hands to the heart and lighten up on your right foot. Rotate outward through the hip and knee. Option is you can just prop it on your ankle. Maybe slide into your shin, or perhaps you're gonna pull the heel into your groin, skipping your knee joint for tree pose. Pick a spot on the floor to stare at. If you'd like to grow some branches with me, go ahead and create a goal pose with your arms. This is cactus. We did this in the warm up. Press your standing leg into your foot and your foot into your standing leg. 
stretch those branches a little bit taller and then we'll pull the hands down to the heart center slowly lift your right knee up and set your right foot down like you meant to no slingshot inhale reach it up fill your lungs exhale slide hands to heart center as you lighten on your left heel rotate out through your left knee left hip option a prop it option b your shin Option C, skip your knee, come into your inner thigh. Press both together, create some tension, some energy. You can keep hands at heart center in prayer mudra, or you can reach up into that cactus goal pose position a little bit harder when you take things away from the midline. One more big breath here as you grow your wrenches a little taller, inhale. And then exhale, hands to heart center, lift your knee a little higher on purpose. Beautiful. We're at the back of our mat still. Go ahead and just roll your way down. Melt, melt, melt. Chin to chest. Belly will pull in. Soften your knees as you walk your hands forward one at a time. Come to that plank position. Drop your hips in line with your shoulders and your spine. We'll take right knee towards right wrist and then take, just kind of shimmy your right ankle towards your left wrist until you find your pigeon pose. So this half pigeon, start to lower your back thigh, stay square so you're not turning sideways. If your knee starts to hurt at all, I recommend you take this position on your back. It's called reclining pigeon. So if you have any pinching or biting in your knee, take that option. So it's supposed to be stretching through your outside hip, through your piriformis. When you're ready, let's fall asleep here. It's called sleeping pigeon. Melt your heart, your forehead towards the floor. Really stretch your back leg long. Go ahead, start the journey back up. Palms underneath shoulders, curl your back toe under. Charge some energy in your back leg as you lift yourself back up into plank. Core work, left knee to left wrist and then shimmy your left ankle towards your right wrist as much as it'll go. I have tight hips, so I can't get my foot that far forward, but if you have really bendy hips, move your foot forward. Mine are pretty tight. Stretch that back leg long, lift your heart. And then when you're ready, take the sleeping version of this pose. So melt, melt, melt. Sleeping pigeon, if it feels okay, stack your fists and rest your forehead, or you can melt all the way down, bringing your forehead to the floor. Whatever feels best in your body with this next breath, bring your arms back underneath your shoulders, palms to the mat, curl your back toe under, under and make some energy in your back leg, lift yourself up to plank. You know it, strong core. We're gonna lower our knees one at a time, uncurl the toes, take embryo pose, so hips to heels, and then reach your arms back, let your forehead melt. Back body stretch. Good, start to roll yourself up nice and slow, sitting up onto your heels. This is called hero's pose. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Take right hand to the floor and stretch the left arm open over. Good, and then we're gonna twist. So look behind you towards the left, reach your right arm across your body, and then just get really tall as you spiral to the back of the room. Unwind it here, and we'll take left hand to the floor and stretch the right arm up, bicep to the ear, Open that waist, and we're gonna spiral twist the other way now. So towards the right, so left arm comes across. Look behind you, I'm using my fingers on the floor for a little bit of leverage. Unwind, and then shift your hips off of your heels. Swing your heels to the front of the room here. Toes are up, feet together. Really lift up, so rock side to side. Reach both arms tall, this is staff pose. Exhale, fold your heart towards your thighs. Maybe you touch your toes, maybe ankles, maybe shins. Go ahead, start that journey back up nice and slow, head above the heart. Pull the soles of the feet together here, coming into cobbler's pose. Knees will drop open. You can just press with your fingers. Sometimes that feels really great. Just pressing your hips forward, pressing your heart forward. Gravity does the rest. If you're able to bind, you can grab your feet and then fold forward any amount. So I have tight hips once again, so I feel stretch right here. But if you can pancake right over, go ahead. Go ahead and then slowly release whatever you're holding, the bind. We're gonna take ourselves onto our back. So move to the center of your mats, check that you have room behind you, and then with your core, release your legs. You're gonna roll down nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. Your head will come down last. 
When you get to the bottom, reach your arms overhead, extend your legs long, point your toes, and imagine you're a rope and tug of organ, pull in opposite directions. Reverse that, take your knees to your chest and scoop them in tight. Give them a nice hug, maybe point and flex your feet a couple times and circle your ankles. Excellent, for our Shavasana today, we're gonna take easy pose. So feet apart, knees together, hands on your belly, rest your head and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, feel your hands float up as you breathe into your belly. And then exhale, H-A sound, ha, side out. One more, inhale, feel your hands float up as you breathe into your belly. And then exhale with the H-A sound. Blink your eyes open. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your knees, your toes, your ankles. Drop your knees towards the front of the room here, and then we'll slowly roll our way up. Let your head be the last thing to rise up and sit up in whatever position feels comfortable for you. You can crisscross applesauce. Rest with your palms up. This is a gesture of gratitude in yoga. Gratitude in receiving. Soften your chin to your chest. And just take a gentle roll to the right. Deep breath in to receive the benefit. And then exhale, side out. Other side, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, receive the benefit you came here for. And then exhale, sigh. Chin to chest, reach both arms overhead and clasp or match your hands together. Pull them to your heart center. May you go forward with peace in your heart and mind. Namaste.